My First Bible presents Moses and the Ten Commandments. The Israelites arrived at Mount Sinai three months after leaving Egypt. They all camped in front of an enormous mountain. Moses knew God wanted to meet him there, so he went up. And from there, God called upon him and said, Moses, make an announcement to the people of Israel, saying that if they obey me and keep my covenant, they will be my special people among all the nations. Although all the land belongs to me, you will be a kingdom of priests and a holy nation to me. Moses came down from the mountain. He gathered the leaders of the people and told them what God had said to him. The Lord has chosen us as a special group of people. Will you follow him? Will you obey him? Everyone responded in unison. We will do everything God says. And so, Moses took the people's response to God. And God said to him, I'm going to present myself before you through a dense cloud. This way, the people will hear me speak to you and will therefore always have faith in you. Go to the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow. Tell them to wash their clothes and to prepare for the third day, because that is the day I will descend on Mount Sinai for all the people to see. Tell them not to go up the mountain and not even to set foot on it, because anyone who dares to touch it will die. They can only go up the mountain when they hear the trumpet. Okay. Moses went back down and did everything God had asked, and the people obeyed. When the morning of the third day came, there was thunder and lightning, and a dense cloud passed over Mount Sinai. A loud trumpet blast made everyone in the crowd tremble. All the Israelites came out to see what was happening. The people could hear the sound, but they couldn't see where it was coming from. God spoke, and he stated the commandments. I am Jehovah, your God. I took you out of Egypt, the country where you were slaves. Do not have any gods other than me. You will not bow to them. Blah, 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 blah. You shall not take the name of your God in vain. I am the Lord. I will not treat anyone who dares to use my name falsely as innocent. Remember the Sabbath day in order to keep it holy. You will work six days where you can do everything you need to do. However, the seventh day will be a day of rest to honor the Lord your God. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may enjoy a long life on the land that the Lord, your God, gave to you. You will not kill. You will not commit adultery. You will not steal. Do not take anything that isn't yours. You will not lie. Don't say false things. And you shall not covet anything of your neighbor. Among the spectacle of thunder and lightning, sounds of a trumpet, and the mountain of smoke, the Israelites trembled with fear, and they maintained their distance. Moses told the people, Come, everybody! God wants to meet with all of us! But they begged Moses, You go! Then you talk to us, and we will listen, Moses. Mm -hmm. If God speaks to us, we will probably die. Don't be scared, responded Moses. God has come to put you to the test, so that you may fear him and not sin. But the Israelites refused. God listened to the people, and he gave Moses an order. Tell the Israelites the following. You have heard me from the heavens. Don't make gods of silver or gold. Do not worship them. Just make an earthen altar so that you can make offerings of your sheep or your bulls in my name, and I will bless you. You, Moses, come up here onto the mountain with me, 
so that I can tell you all the commandments, statutes, and judgments that you will have to teach the people so that they can fulfill them on the land that I will give them. Okay. Moses did as he was told. Joshua accompanied Moses for a portion of the journey, and he promised to wait there for him. Once there, God and Moses had a long conversation. In detail, God explained the commandments and handed Moses two stone tablets, on which God himself had written the laws. Then, God explained about the worship towards him and how the people should behave. All this would help to make Israel a nation of justice and generosity, to be different from other nations. God also tells Moses that he wants his holy, divine, and good presence to come and dwell among the Israelite people. Then. God explained in detail the clothing of the priests and the architectural plans to build a sacred tent, which he called the tabernacle. The tabernacle was to have a patio outside with an altar and a tent with a room in the center. Inside the room, that is called the Holy of Holies, there was a golden box called the Ark of the Covenant, which would have angelic scriptures on it, each detail with symbols that represent the Garden of Eden, the place where God and humans lived together. Wow. A lot of time passed while all of this was happening. The people were waiting and waiting for Moses to come down from the mountain. Since he wasn't appearing, they thought Moses had died. Again, they decided to not trust in God. And so, they said to Aaron, Moses is surely dead. We want a god to worship. Yes, the Egyptians have gods of gold. Why should ours be invisible? I told you all to wait a bit longer, said Aaron. Moses will come back. We won't wait any longer. We want a god now! Ah. Look for all the gold you can find and bring it to me. Many Israelites searched for gold and brought it to Aaron. Aaron melted them down and built an idol in the shape of a calf. Then he exclaimed to his people, Israel, here you have your gods who brought you out of Egypt. The next day, the Israelites woke up early and had feasts to honor the golden calf. They danced, sang, and drank. Yeah. It had been 40 days since Moses had gone up the mountain. God told him that something terrible had happened. The people had forgotten their promise. God was very sad and angry. Moses, go down now. The people have already been corrupted. Too soon they have strayed from the path I ordered them to follow. I have realized that they are a stubborn group. They have created an idol and bow down to it. I will punish each one of them, but I will make a great nation out of you. Moses begged God to forgive them. He reminded God of the promise of his servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. And so God calmed down and decided not to punish the people. Moses descended the mountain and brought with him the stone tablet that had the Ten Commandments written on them. When Joshua heard the noise and screams of the people, he said, I can hear war cries coming from the camp. But Moses responded, They are not war cries. Actually, what you heard were songs. When Moses saw the golden calf, he burned with anger. Amid his fury, he threw the two tablets onto the ground, 
making them break into pieces. You are an evil people! He took the calf they had made, threw it, and ground it to powder. How can you do this after everything God has done for you? Screamed Moses. My brother, don't be mad, answered Aaron. These people are out of control. They asked me to make them a god to worship because they huh? thought you had died. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. Moses sent for the people who had worshipped the calf to be punished. After some time, Moses climbed the mountain again to beg God to forgive his people. These people have committed a huge sin by worshipping a false god. But still, I'm begging you to forgive them. If you will not forgive them, erase me from the book you have written. Only those who have sinned against me will be erased from my book, said God, and I will continue to guide your people. And he added, carve two stone tablets just like the ones you broke. I'm going to write the same thing that was written on the first ones. Prepare to go up tomorrow and present yourself before me. Okay. And that is what Moses did. Very early in the morning, Moses once again went up the mountain. God descended from the cloud and came next to Moses. Moses fell to the ground. The glory of God was too great. Moses kept his eyes closed and repeated over and over how great God was. And once again, he begged God to forgive his people and continue to regard them as his chosen people. God said yes, and then renewed his promise. He promised to take the people of Israel to the land that he had told to Abraham. And for a second time, God told Moses the commandments for the people, and he wrote them on the tablets. And Moses stayed on the mountain with God forty days and forty nights, without eating or drinking anything. This time, the people had been waiting for Moses to return. They had been good. When Moses descended Mount Sinai, he brought with him the two stone tablets that had the commandments. But there was something strange. The Israelites asked themselves what that light was that was approaching. As it got closer, they realized it was Moses. The Israelites were scared to approach him. Moses' face shone like sunlight. But Moses didn't know that because he spoke with God, light came from his face. Oh my God! A demonstration of the glory of God! Moses told the people everything God had told him on Mount Sinai. And through the commandments, the people would know how to obey God. Comment and subscribe below!